Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I pack orders for IQ Mart, and um, this is taken out of the moderator module for my channel and you guys have like sort of um suggested it and I thought hey it might be fun and I was about to do it anyway sometimes so I'm like well, why don't I just do it now you know and usually I pack orders around around like six to five no 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 um like six to seven like that's when I start because I need all the orders to come in like most of it rush hour I guess like most of it to come in later, people might do more, you know, but that's where most of it are in already. So, let's just go ahead right now, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Alright, so now I'm down in the computer room, and, um, yeah, as you can see, this is, like, where I usually get my supplies at. It's really messy, because there's, like, a lot of stuff. I don't really use it to do anything. I just, like, bunch my supplies over there, and whenever, whenever I, like, clean it up or something, it magically just gets all messy again so I don't know how it happens you know eventually happens but we go to the computer yeah that's the computer you know I log into PayPal and first thing I do I'm only I'm only gonna do um one order right now because I it's just for the sake of showing you but usually I do more than one order so um yeah I do more than one order and I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna do one. I just print out all the orders and by printing out I mean printing out like the information and also the packing slip to put into your package because packing slip and package do I, I actually never noticed that but yeah I'm gonna do this one guys he ordered his her name her name her name I'm, I'm very sorry her name is Suzanne Halmberg so if you order this um yeah this is for you and so I'm gonna print it out and this is what I mean by printing out. I don't wanna show the process because I'm gonna have to reveal her information. So I'm just gonna print it out and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so now it's printing it out and yeah, there's one that's two sided and only we are keeping it for record. And this other one that's coming out right now, it's the one that's um your packing slip. So I'm just gonna take this, you know, and then we, ha we usually have this bag, as you can see this one is a Verizon wireless bag. Be but we do this because we do, uh, we have like a bunch of these bags, not Verizon wireless, like different companies, but we just do that, you know, and, and we, and we, what we do is, um, I'm gonna get the back side of the paper, but I get it and then I clip it onto here, like that because you see there's that clipper I just put it on there and I do that for every order because I don't want to mess up someone's order like someone else I've had that experience so now what we do is that so let's and then what I do is go get the products and I'm gonna I'm go right now you, you come with me as well okay guys so now I'm outside of my garage and my garage is where I keep all of the cubes and it's quite um messy in there and there's also some cubes lying around in the house like bunches and that you like because, you know, there's a lot of stock. So this person wants a black dying guhong. So let's just go inside right now. I'm going to try to show as less of the garage as possible because I really don't want to, like, show my house, you know. It's not really me. It's more of my parents. But I'm going to respect them because I'm supposed to respect your eight parents. So I'm going to open it. So epic. Black dying guhong. There's your order, um, Suzanne. Yup. So now what we do is we put it in the bag and we get out of here. So first, um, we come back to the office and then as you can see, here's your order, right? Usually we have a bunch of orders so it lines up all the way over there. Like we put it, you know, in a straight line. And look, those are some defective Megamis. Um, anyways, yeah, we put it over here and we weigh it. So not only do we have the cube right now, we need to put in... The envelopes, so as you can see, our different sized envelopes. Um, yeah, it's a mess, but here's the one that we need. This is the one that fits it. As you can see, it's the IQ Mart ones. Wow, this one is bad. But anyways, here's the thing. Okay, we put it inside. And now what we need is um, a business card. So as you can see, here is the whole thing. This is... Um, not really it, not all of it, but I'm just going to take one of these. If you haven't seen one, here it is. 
We have outstanding customer service, a wide variety of puzzles, and remarkable shipping. This is why you can rely on us as we try hard to provide a unique shopping experience for you. iCubemart, you know, it says iQmart.com, YouTube iCube Time, Jeffrey Wang, store owner service at iQmart.com. This one is very um si very simple and it's it's just very um business like I think it's very it looks very professional but I ordered like another 500 of a different one and that one looks much more modern and looks really awesome. So I'm going to put that inside I'm going and yeah, so now what we do is we weigh it. So usually my sister helps me weigh it because um I'm I need to like add in all the the envelopes and stuff. So this is what we do. We please if you can if you please. You op we first put in two papers because the duct tape weighs some some stuff and that re um replaces the duct tape. And then we put in the crafts envelope or just an envelope and there's the business card and then lastly we put in the cube. So as you can see this one is 4 4 4 pound 4 ounces 4.4 4 ounces. So what we do is we write it on our record. So it is five ounce. We round it upwards, of course. And we retrieve everything back in the Verizon bag. Yep. So now what we do is we go print out the shipping label. Pretty cool, you know. It, I'm gonna type in the password and I'm just gonna print out the label and everything. I'm not gonna show you how I do it because that's just gonna reveal stuff. But yeah, I'm just adding in information and just printing it out. And I'll I'll show you what happens after I print it out. So now it's printing again, and it's done. So um, as you can see, here's the here's the thing. It's like. It's like the label thing, you know. I gotta make it blurry because I can't show you the information. But here it is. Here is the label. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, usually after we print it out, you know how we have a line, right? So then we just put it in there and we pack all of them. Um, and then we pack all of them at the same time later after we're done printing out all the labels. But um, usually who helps me, who assists me while I do the orders because especially the summer sale, um, we're getting a lot of orders. So... I get a lot of assistance. Our shipping team is actually just my family. You know, IQMR is just my family. It's me, my sister, my dad, my mom. Usually, the people who help me is like my mom. Sometimes help me, um, you know, talk to the manufacturers because she's more fluent in Chinese than me. But I do talk to them. And also, my dad helps me pack sometimes. You know, helps me get to places like the competition and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of IQMR support. From my family members, my sister, you know, she's really young and she's going through all this for me. It's, it's great. I'm getting a lot of support from them. Sure, it, it takes away my life sometimes. I mean, sometimes I just pack until like 3. And my parents, I mean, have been like known to pack until 4 in the morning. That's, that's why our shipping is really fast. Because, you know, we work hard to do it so we can get out at least, I mean, at most the next day. So... Yeah, I just want you guys to know that that's the reason why we ship it out so fast. And then, so I just want, that's, that's a big shout out to everyone that's helping me. And so usually what we do is me and my sister, teamwork, you know, we get this done. And yeah, so usually what we do is we take this the label out, right, right. And then I take out the label, I hand the receipt to my sister, I put it on here, I just like flatten it, you know, and then... I get duct tape, because duct tape is like what makes the world go around. I duct tape the um, address, because I don't want the address to smear or get like water damaged while it's going to USPS. So that's what I do. And um, while my sister, she takes the receipt for the order and takes the receipt for, the, for USPS for the label, and then she puts it on the back of the PayPal invoice, as you can see, that's what she does. That's how we keep the record, so that's how we know if you ordered or not, or like all the information, all that good stuff. And then there's the packing slip, she's folding it right now into four, as most of you guys know. So what I do now is I'm gonna open this up and quality check it. Usually I go from the bottom, but now I start using this small knife to just open it so it doesn't even look like it's open. And a lot of people want the boxes to be in perfect condition. So that's what I do. Um, I don't believe I have my, my knife 
right here. Like, it's a really, really small pocket knife that's not dangerous at all. But I don't have it right now, so I'm just gonna have to go from the bottom. Um, so, you know, I just take it out. I just test it a little bit. Okay, it's alright. You know, this one has no defects, no problems. No sticker quality um, issues as well. So we just put it back in there. Close it. And this one's good to go. So if this customer says it's something something went wrong, it's USPS, it's not us. So um, I just you know open it up. I put the cube in there as far as it can go. Make sure the top is flat. And then I put this thing inside and my um, business card. My business card is right here, you know, I just put it in there and there's this sealable thing. We put it out in the trash and then we just close it. So now it's closed, but that's not all. We don't want it opening in the middle of like nowhere, right? We don't want it to get like, like this one is in Sweden. So I, I don't want it to fall out of the airplane. That's not going to happen, you know, but I just, I just, just for insurance, just like, for security, I just add another layer of tape on there, like that, and now it's done. This is in order. And then after that, we usually put it in like USPS crate like this, we put it in there. With Later on, it gets filled up, we, we get another crate, fill that one up, we get another crate, etc. You know, that's, that's how we do it, and that's how we roll, and that's how we pack your orders. So after that happens, um, we give you your delivery confirmation. And then you guys, you guys, you know, like, oh, okay, they packed my order now. And then what we do is we go drop it off. Um, we go drop it off at USPS. Usually, if it's on Saturday or Sunday, we Saturday we go drop it off at three o'clock. But um, if it's on the weekdays, we just the next day we go. But when my parents go to work, they go to USPS and ship them off. And yeah, so my parents help me a lot. But don't worry, I'm the one that's doing most of the work. And don't think that way. But that's how I do it, that's how we do it, that's how IQMAR does it. And hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully now you understand all of the efforts we go through trying to get the package to you guys early. So if your package doesn't arrive that soon, that it's probably because of USPS delay, you know, because we, we really work hard to get it out. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys later.